Hello everyone! I know it's been a while. Um, I've been, a lot's been going on, but if you can tell by the title, today I'm going to talk to you about Japanese hair straightening. So if you are interested, please continue to watch. Okay, so if you couldn't tell by my hair, uh, if you've seen my other videos, my hair is usually a lot thicker and frizzier and just unmanageable really, even when I try and straighten it, it gets really tangly. But I actually got my hair thermally reconditioned or I got it Japanese hair straightened yesterday. And so this is the second day hair. I just woke up not that long ago. I haven't done anything to it. I just pretty much got up and I washed my face and I did my makeup. So what Japanese hair straightening is, is it's a type of relaxer. They just use different chemicals and it actually leaves your hair looking um, healthier and not as drying and damaging as a relaxer would. I used to have relaxer in my hair a long time ago when I was younger and I just let my hair grow out and I cut it all out and I was like I'm never gonna do this again this is ridiculous like my hair looks terrible and then I um, was looking at the Brazilian blowout and I mentioned it to one of my coworkers, and she's like well my uncle does um, Japanese hair training so you should check that out and I'm like mm, I don't know so I went to go look it up and then I saw that it was permanent and that's when I was like okay no I don't want to do anything permanent again because last time I had a relaxer my hair was just it was just bad it, I mean it wasn't bad my hair was straight it was just damaged and it didn't have any movement and no it was just I would never want to do that again and so I started watching more videos on it and I was like okay their hair actually doesn't look so bad after it's done and if you hear any noises, my cats are on the table and they're very curious right now. But anyways, so I watched some videos. There isn't that many out there with the kind of hair type that I have. So I'm going to insert some pictures showing you what my hair looked like before here. And so as you can see, my hair is very curly. Um, I don't have a good picture showing what my hair looked like underneath because the bottom half of my hair was just so coarse I I mean this is my hair I don't have any extensions in so it's it's long but when it would shrink up when it was curly it would curl up to like right here and so all I could do was put my hair in a bun that was it I didn't have any other way to style my hair it was just either a bun or I straighten it and when I would straighten it naturally um, you know without this conditioning treatment <laughs> it's getting in the blinds so when I would straighten my hair uh, prior to have the prior to having the reconditioning, it would take about four hours because I would let it air dry for three, and then I'd have to blow dry the rest of it, uh, comb it out, and then straighten it. And the straightening process was like an hour and a half in itself, so it was a really long process. And if you see my last video, you can tell my hair is out here more. Um, it doesn't look as healthy as my ends do. I mean, I did get a trim, but it still wasn't the same thing. It just it, this is like night and day. And so um, I'm gonna go through the process a little bit and. And then I'll show you the after pictures. I mean, of course, you can see on video here um, how it looks. It's just so much sleeker. And um, I mean, I'll show you right here, too. So it's really sleek and it's so silky and smooth. And I mean, I'll kind of get up a little bit so you can see. I mean, my hair is long. It was just you couldn't really tell even when I had my hair straightened before this it would still like be right up here because of how poofy it was and how my ends just wouldn't lay flat so it was just I'm just so glad I don't have to do that anymore um I got there at 8 in the morning they washed my hair three times uh with the shampoo and I think they put a little bit of conditioner on my ends just because my hair was so dry and then um they took me to this the, to the chair they blew dry my hair 80 percent dry and they sectioned it into four different sections they combed it out to detangle it and then they started adding the solution so i have two people working on my hair at um at one time i had the master stylist and then her assistant which helped tremendously because like i said i was in there for six hours so you can imagine if i only had one person working on my hair how long i would have been there so they were detangling the sections of my hair putting in the product and then the first product is just the actual cream that's gonna um, relax my hair and they set it in there for 15 minutes came back went into the roots and then to the ends let it sit there for a little bit longer and then they came back like five to ten minutes before it was supposed to come out and then they did the edges and then all the bottom edges 
and so I had my hair washed. Um, the same thing, they did shampoo, just light shampoo, and then they did a little bit again on the ends. And then they went through and blow dried it to 100% dry, and then they flat ironed it, and that was, that steam, I felt like my scalp was going to fall off. It was so hot. I'm not even kidding. I was trying so hard not to cry. And so they were getting really, really close to the roots because that was the process that was going to really set it. That was going to show, that was essentially how my hair was going to look like after I would blow dry it. So they wanted to get extremely close to the edges and make sure they didn't miss anything. After that, they put the neutralizer, which pretty much that is the second step to setting everything. They put the neutralizer in and they let that sit in my hair for only about five minutes. The other one I think in total was about 45 minutes in my hair. Um, and then they washed it again and then they put like the conditioner everything like that and then that's when I got out and it was like my hair looked like this wet and she was just blow drying it dry and it came out just like this it was absolutely insane I I'm surprised I didn't cry there because I was so happy to see such a difference the first time after she had put the relaxer treatment in and it came out my hair was still curly in a lot of the areas and it was frizzy and I was like oh my god like I was like this can't be it my hair looks terrible I mean I can still manage it a lot better than when it looked curly, but holy crap, like I spent hundreds of dollars on this and it came out like that. But it looks so much better the second time after the neutralizer is washed out. And she just, uh, again, went through and strained every single piece to make sure that it was straight because you can't wash your hair for two days afterwards. So essentially, this is what your hair is going to look like whenever you wash it after the second day. And so I didn't, she didn't want to have any sections uh, curly or anything like that. So she straightened it all again and then she gave me a trim. She cut off about three inches of my hair and that was that. It was a six hour process. I left at around two in the afternoon. Um, and yeah, I mean, I don't even, I'm not even going to complain. I was, I was actually getting really tired just sitting there, but it was so, it was just such an amazing experience and I know some people are going to be like but your curly hair and da 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 and it's just it just what's work works best for me I never wore my hair down curly because it would just shrivel up to right here and it looked like I had like mushroom hair like it was just it was too much and so I am very happy with the results I will say it is an extremely pricey thing um, I, I mean, I have, as you can tell, my hair is extremely long, and as you can tell, my other, uh, in the pictures I showed earlier, it's really curly, and that's the first, that's the curliest hair that she's ever done. So it was, it ranges from 400 to about 1,000 I've read. I haven't, I didn't pay 1,000, but I paid pretty darn close to it, um, but it is a permanent hair style. I don't, I, until I cut this out, it's never going to be curly again, unless, of course, the growth, which I can touch up, I believe it's every six months to a year, just depending on how long you can go without having it touched up, which I'm definitely going to try to go for a year because it's just, it's really pricey. I don't have any cons. I mean, the treatment smelled. I don't think that's anything that I wasn't expecting, especially for chemicals that are permanently changing the type of, you know, hair you have. So it, it is a long process, it is pricey, but it is a long term solution for your hair. You don't, I can just get out of the shower, blow dry it, dry it, and just leave. I don't have to straighten it, I don't have to do anything to it if I don't need to. Um, of course if I, well actually no, yeah, you really don't, you really don't need to. So I haven't washed it yet, again I just did it yesterday, so I am going to do a video on how I do my hair after the fact. And just show you how I go from, you know, taking the shower and then blow drying it to when I'm done. What is he doing? He's playing with something on the ground. And there's my other cat right there. But, yeah. So, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave it down below. I'm trying to think if I've forgotten anything. Oh, let me enter and insert the pictures after that she took from the salon. As you can tell, a major difference. I'll probably insert some just comparisons and some other pictures if I can find any that I haven't already inserted in the video. 
but I think I went over everything. Oh, I did it. I got the Yoku hair straightening treatment. I'm going to put it in the title anyways, but I know I didn't mention it in the beginning. They, there are different types of Japanese hair straightening and Korean ones that I've read as well. Uh, but I went with a Yoku because that's mainly all the videos that I saw on YouTube were of the Yoku or Yuko, I don't know if I'm saying it right, and I actually just, you can search for a salon provider that uses that hair system, hair straightening system, treatment, I don't know, and that's when I found the one that's in my hometown, so I'll link the uh, Yoku, Yuko, um, website down below I can't even talk the website down below so you can check it out and see what other salons do it in your area if you are interested because I did find a lot of salons in my area that did it but I only found two that were actually from the website and I just felt more comfortable going with something that was from the website they had their classes taken so they were um, well aware of how to handle my hair so I think that's it I really hope I didn't forget anything um, I was going to make a list, but I feel like I probably wouldn't even look at the list. And obviously, I didn't even make it, so there's that. Oh my gosh, what are they doing? Cats. Uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, again, leave them down below. I'm going to insert some pictures. I mean, I'll give you just one more look. Again, second day, hair. It's extremely, you know, movable. There's movement. There's no frizz whatsoever. I'm sorry I'm looking here because for some reason it's not connecting to my uh, MacBook which is really irritating but that's another story. And yeah. So I am so happy and I'm so excited that I finally got this done. I've been waiting for a couple weeks. I sent the appointment about two weeks ago and I finally was able to go in and get it done and I could not be more happier and I do not regret anything. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed and again, I'll be making some more videos on the hair. If you have any other questions about my hair or anything in general, just leave them down below and I'll get those answers for you. So thanks for watching.